In this video, we're going to look at how we can add text to a publication. We can do this in two different ways. We can add a standard text frame and also we can add an artistic text frame. And it's important that you know the difference between these. If we look at our standard text frame, and we're going to click and drag a box. Quickest way to fill this with text, just for demonstration purposes, is to right click and fill with placeholder text. Now, what's been added to this text frame doesn't make any sense. It's not written in any language, but there's letters there with spacing that are typical to the words that we would use day to day. If you notice when we pull the handles, the text frame will move the text. The size of the letters does not alter. It's only the position that they are within the text frame. We can delete text, we can add more, just using the normal commands that we are familiar with working with. So that's our standard text frame. Let's look at our artistic text frame now. Again, I'm going to click and drag. And you'll see here, when we hold the handles, the size of the text does change. We can stretch the text we can make it shorter, we can make it taller. So the size is dictated by the size of the frame. Okay, so two very different ways. Artistic text, good for headlines, where you're looking to get something quite bold. However, if you're just adding in standard sentences and paragraphs of text, you will always want to go with your standard text frame. Now we need to look and see what we are able to do with our standard text frame. So I'm just going to zoom into this area. We can highlight the text. We can change the typeface. We can change the size of the text. We can make it smaller. We can make it bigger. And again, by changing the size of our frame, it changes the position of the letters. We can also, if we go to our text up in the box here, we can change the color of our text. Okay, so standard text frame, the letters, will move pending the size of the frame that we have. Now we can do something similar with our artistic text. We can highlight the text. We can change the typeface. We can alter this by stretching or compressing text so we'll get some very different effects and we can also change the colour by simply clicking on the colour swatch that we're looking for. So both ways of adding text but both give you a completely different result. What I'd like you to practice now is go on to a new document and I've added one simple text frame, just two or three lines of text. I've copied and pasted it another three times. So the first one, I've changed the size. I've went from 12 PT up to 20 PT. The next change, it's still on 20 PT, but I've changed the typeface to Accent SF. And then on the fourth one, I've changed the color. So that's using our standard text frame. Again, repeating the simple exercise, this time using our artistic text. Bringing the text in, changing the typeface, 
changing the height and changing the colour. Okay, so there's a number of different things we can do with our text. Again, this is all about learning the difference between what a standard text frame is compared with an artistic text frame. Thank you.